Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to install Moomoo, the Android emulator, on a Windows 10 PC. Now, the first thing we need to do is open up our browser, head over to Google, and then just type in Mimu emulator. So that's going to pop up here. The official domain is mimuplay.com, and we can click on that. And then you see the download link here in uh, green. Click on that, and it'll download the executable file on your computer. So Mimu is one of the popular Android emulators for gamers. Um, it runs multiple sessions in different instances of Android. So that's one of the reasons why it, it's popular because you can run it on different types of PCs. So once the file is downloaded here, we can go into our downloads folder and then we can start the installer. We're gonna run it as administrator. When we get prompted, we can click on yes and let the installation proceed. Um, in the version that we downloaded, uh, only English is available here so we'll just click on next and click on next again so it wants to ask about all these promotional antivirus softwares we're going to decline we'll click on decline here and mcafee web advisor will decline that as well this is a lot of extra software that you don't need on your pc if you do find value in the services go ahead and install them and a quick reminder, if you haven't hit the like button already and you enjoy our content, please go ahead and hit that button. Much appreciated. We will fast forward this to the end so you don't have to watch it. Click OK and the browser opens up. And this is just basically a thank you for installing the software. You can just close out of that. And we can it's automatically going to launch because we have the check mark in here. And then we can click on finish and then it's going to begin to boot up the emulator. And it'll just take a few seconds here to load up the emulator. Again, the loading time depends on the RAM and CPU um, power of your PC. Um, for us, it'll just take a, about a minute or so. We'll let that load up here. Okay, so we have the emulator loaded up here. And we have a bunch of uh, quick launches on the right-hand side. Uh, that you can see here listed. If the first one's full screen, when you click on that, you go into full screen mode, which is perfect for gaming. Um, and then the next one over here, this is uh, some shortcuts for gaming as well. You can modify these however you want. These are just some nice little quick features that you can have loaded on the left. APK files, if you're gonna install any other types of games, you can easily access, access them from here can click on the APK file that you download and then open it and it immediately installs within the session. So next we have the multi-instance option here. When you click on this, you not only see the instance that you're running right now, but you actually have the option to start a whole new instance altogether. And not only that, you can select the different versions between Android 4, 5, and 7 that you want to run. So this is very helpful. Uh, you can see you can click on download and it'll start downloading another version. Now this will be very helpful if you have a slower PC uh, instead of a multi-core, maybe a dual core or lower RAM. Uh, having an instance running uh, a lower version of Android uh, will definitely help a lot when you're trying to play different games. Uh, so this is very useful. Once we have it up and running, we'll be here just in a second. Okay, and now we can start it up by clicking on the start button here and it's gonna boot up the second instance of Android. Now, the first one we have is running version seven. The version that we're loading up right now is gonna be version five, and then we'll be able to toggle in between. We can have them side by side, so you can run a game on one, and maybe a messenger on another one, and then you have the option here to uh, switch in and out of them. And as you can see, you have them both here. And if we want to stop it, we can just click on the close button and it'll shut it down. We can power it up. We can also completely close and delete it. When we choose this option, it's actually going to delete the image completely from the CPU. Uh, so here we go. We're going to trash it right now. This removes the image completely from the computer. Uh, save space also removes the session entirely. If you had anything saved, it's gone. Uh, and then you can just keep using the current instance that you have. Right, so you have some volume up, volume down, fake GPS. So uh, in here, you can actually locate wherever in the world you want to appear to be. Uh, so say you're in China and you don't want to be in China anymore and you want to be in Europe, uh, you can just double click on the country that you want to be in. So if you want to be in Poland, click on Poland. 
save the location, and then bam, now you're in Poland. Okay, and then what else do we have here? Uh, shared folders. So this is gonna be all the folders that you're sharing for videos, music, pictures, or anything else, easily accessible. The settings in here, this is gonna be standard, uh, like other emulators. So you can change um, your resolution, you can change your profile of the telecom that you're with, network information, uh, device information as well. You can change the microphone, you can customize the appearance, and you can go and change language settings and shortcuts and everything else. That's pretty much standard for most emulators, built into the settings, quickly accessible. Now, if you click on the Google Play, you can click in here and then you can sign in and then you have access to the millions of games that's in the Google Play Store. Load it right in there and start gaming. So this is how you install Mimu on a Windows 10 PC. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.